another time and space A parallel universe is falling on its face When out of the chaos, who else could it be? But the animal adventurers from SPACE Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare Mutants and aliens and toads beware You're looking for adventure, well this is it With Jenny, Dead Eye, Blinky and Willie to win I said Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare I'm on the Bucky O'Hare on the Toad War. In the battle of the universe, you don't know what's next You only know amphibians are made it complex When you check out your scanner and the evil that it wants There's only one course of action Let's go for some toads! Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare He goes where no ordinary rabbit would dare If your righteous indignation has suffered a hit And your photon accelerator is broken a bit And you're losing your mind and you're having a fit Get the funky fresh rabbit who can take, take care of him To Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare Okay, so I was going to wait to make this video, but you guys do not know how happy I am right at this moment to receive this in the post today. Oh, hell yeah. It's the new Bucky O'Hare action figure from Boss Fight Studios, and man, does it look awesome! Oh my gosh, I'm. this is like my childhood, just all come back, it's like 1992 all over again. If it was 92, it was definitely the 90s. And yeah, this is Bucky O'Hare in all his glorious passion. Hope it's not too bright of the light there. But see, and this time he's got um, changeable faces, hands, he's got the weapon, the gun to go in his belt. His cape, as you can see there, is right at the back. Man, it's just, how can you describe having, you know, having a favourite cartoon that has a short series run, then finishes, you grow up, but still holding on to it, and then to finally have a company come along and say, Oh, we bought a license, we're going to make some more Bucky O'Hare figures. Absolutely awesome. So there's the front, here is the back. So this is something really cool as well, you've got Jenny. I'll explain why in a minute. So you've got Bucky, Jenny, coming soon, Astral Protection, Jenny, Stealth Mission, Bucky. Now, I'm not too fussed on having different variations of the characters. I'd like to have all the characters out first, then for them to make variations. But I can see while they're doing it. Many, of course. But I'll probably still get them. Why not? And then Dead Eye Duck is kind of soon. You can't see him because he's blackened out. But I have seen um, an early example of what he looks like. He looks awesome. And a, a Storm Toad Trooper as well. That will definitely be on my list. But man, yeah. So you got a little bit of the comic on the right-hand side here. you got a Bucky's bio by here. But even better than having Bucky is having Jenny herself. And the reason for this is because in the original toy run, Jenny was never released. There was like early prototypes of her, but because apparently they made too many air marshals, they didn't, well, they lost many, I think, and the toy got cancelled, and nobody wanted air marshals, so they didn't buy him. And Jenny was never released, but you can still find early variations of Jenny in, um, if you're lucky on eBay, but I think it goes for quite a lot of money. But now, don't need to because we've got an official Jenny. Look at that. So again, interchangeable faces. Astral protection things on for arms, weapons. That is pretty damn awesome. It's like, I never thought I'd get to hold a Jenny figure. I thought maybe if people custom made them, but to have them officially made again is absolutely awesome. And then it says about Jenny down there. Also, this package in the plastic, I think, just peels, uh, just comes off, so this can stay intact. Oh man. Now, one thing Boss Fight Studios did say about these figures is that um, they didn't realize how tight some of the parts were when they were in production. So, for example, Bucky's face is quite, that face is on tight, but you have to use a bit of heat like a, not a, not a microwave, that's stupid. Uh, what's it called? Hair dryer. To loosen it a bit first, then put it off, and eventually it will get better with time. I'm not going to play around too much of it though, because I don't want to damage these things. However, I will get them out of the box. I know some people will be like, no, don't do that, but it's what I do. And I want them in my display cabinet. So, let's go and do that. Okay, so here is Captain Bucky O'Hare out of his packaging. Only small figures. Don't know if that, how what can I compare it to? Let's have a look. Here we go. Slimer Pop. So you got Slimer Pop, Bucky Next to him, they're roughly the same height actually, yeah. Not much difference. Um, this figure is a lot more slimline than his previous counterpart. I'll try and put some photos up. Um, basically, the previous figure was really chunky. 
probably the same size actually in height but yeah this one's a lot more flexible even his feet I don't know where I can see see at the end even that comes up looks like he wants to kick someone Ooh, what's on the bottom, bottom? Uh, just an office thing 2017 it's got a bit of a chunky hip there um, yeah the cape is on as well if you look at the back took me a while to get that on but then when I realized what angle I had to go in it was easy um, like I said, I'm not going to play around with these too much because I do not want to break them. Um, I'll show you the... Here we go. So we've got different hands there for Bucky, different faces like I showed you earlier. You can see a bit more detail. They said with a bit of heat applied, it will come loose, but I really don't want to mess around with it. Do you know what? I'm just happy having it like that. I managed to get his blaster in his hand. He's got another gun. And this apparently fits onto his belt. So, if you put his... There we go. Yes. I think that's going to fit nicely. Yes. There you go. Okay, I might have got that the wrong way. It's pointed out. It should be pointed out like that. There you go. Just an example. So that slides on nicely. Let's see if I can take that off. Bucky's blaster is now facing down. And the cape is nicely back on. As much as possible. Um, new shoulder pads are loose as well. So that's quite cool. There's like rubber. That's a pretty nice touch there. The years move back and forth, so you can turn them whatever way you want. Man, why was this cartoon series so short-lived? Um, the writer I got in touch with on Facebook, he, Larry Hammer, he told me that there was a second unfinished graphic novel sitting in a drawer in an office. Why? Just publish it, man. Trust me on this. But you know what? I've got a feeling the series will come back. There was talking about there was talk about like an animation film. And then with Boss Fight Studios bringing these back, I think the popularity might go back up, and I think they might actually bring it back. So, fingers crossed. Come on. So you go. That is Bucky O'Hare. Captain Bucky O'Hare. I'm going to have to watch the series again, aren't I? It's the only thing you can do. Only 13 episodes. Oh, an awesome NES game, an arcade game. Trust me, if you have not played Bucky O'Hare on the NES, go do it right now after this video. So here it is. Jenny for the first time in my life after having no Jenny figure as a kid I'm actually holding Jenny right here and this weapon is an astral protection uh, projection spell thing that she does try and move it down a bit so you can see her face a bit more here you go awesome just absolutely awesome quite flexible as well oops see the head moves go back da, 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 da. um yeah that's how flexible this figure is, look, the legs go right up. And she's only got small feet, so you're going to see how does she stand so well? Well, because of this, her here at the back stands pretty cool. There you go. Yes. You can't see that, obviously, because I'm bouncing it on the thing. But yeah, that is Jenny. Man, how awesome is this? Try and put her down, yeah, she's standing, good. Here's some extras for Jenny. She's winking in one of them. So that might be a good one to actually put on. But like I said, a bit nervous about trying to change the faces. Maybe I will after this and I'll let you know how it goes. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I managed to keep the cards. All great. See, no damage to these whatsoever because the plastic clipped over them. So that is totally awesome. Oh man, I can't wait for the others. It's probably going to be like another year, but you know, well worth it. So guys, that is my Bucky O'Hare unboxing thing. Um, so happy to have these again, like I've said. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Child Nostalgia is back. Yes. What I'm hoping is when they do all the action figures, I have asked the company this and they have replied to me. I said, will you do... The vehicles, the Toad Croker, the Toad Double Bubble, the Righteous Indignation, the Toad Mothership. And they said, if demand is high enough, then yes, they will do that. So please, if you're a Bucky Hill Hair fan, go and buy these figures. Go tell them that you want the ships as well. Because that would be awesome. Man. Okay, so that's my day made. Maybe my week, maybe my month, maybe my Christmas already. Christmas come early. Um, thank you for watching, and as ever... Boom, see you soon. Okay, so quick update. I have managed to replace the face without breaking it. It just did take quite a lot of work in. But I was very careful. And now we've got Jenny winking. 
So there you go. Oh, man, this is totally awesome. See you next time.